I'm very pleased to say that we're now here to actually hear a few words from uh, the Managing Director of Total in the UK, Jean-Luc Cazieux. Uh, Jean-Luc has worked for Total throughout his career since joining the company in 1988 as a research and development project man manager in geophysics. He's worked in exploration and production as well as corporate finance in the company's headquarters in Paris. He's also held senior management positions in Canada, Argentina and the Middle East. And of course, he is also our primary sponsor today. So thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jean-Luc to the stage. <clears throat> thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Where, why are we here today? Why are we here? We are here because we share the belief that safety is at the heart of our work. It's at the heart of our offshore industry. We are in an industry that faces a lot of uh, inherent risks. And we have, we have been working very hard over the past decades to uh, mitigate those risks through uh, processes, through um, knowledge, through technology. But yet, we are here to, today because we know and we share the belief that at the very heart of safety of our workers, despite the processes, despite the technology, is each of us as individuals and each of our workers. And in fact, you, you, had a, you gave us a very inspiring message, Mike, and saying that uh, sharing with us how much the individual behavior counts on the uh, achievement of what is our ambition in terms of uh, safety uh, in our industry here in the, in the UK. And the only event that effectively recognizes the good work and the good initiatives that are made by, the, uh, by our, our teams uh, in the basin is the Offshore Safety Awards. Recognizing Good work is so very important. Recognizing good work is reinforcing and validating, in fact, the excellence of our individuals, of our team members that are giving the best of what uh, they have to um, improve our work and to improve safety. And by recognizing that, not only do we validate their excellence, but we also Share a, shed a light to, the, um, to, to all the other ones, uh, inspiring us, inspiring our colleagues to um, share the best practices. And this event is what I like about uh, Offshore Safety Awards format. Uh, it's not only a stage uh, event, it's uh, a format that enables uh, each of us to mix and greet and to learn from, our, from one another in, a, in, in an informal way, almost, and, and we feel that spirit of, uh, of sharing. And that's the reason why Total is so proud to be a sponsor of uh, the Offshore Safety Award. This year, we have, learned, we have heard a lot of um, the 50th anniversary of um, the first man on the moon. What a formidable, formidable challenge it was when, when the President Kennedy in the early 60s uh, set the challenge to the, to the US, to America, to uh, within the decade send a man to the moon and bring it back safe home. When at the time there was little knowledge about the moon itself and certainly little knowledge about how to achieve that. In the early 60s as well, here Extracting oil and gas from the North Sea was perceived as an almost as remote ambition. We knew little about the um, basin. We knew little about how to tackle those, uh, you know, those, that, 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 that oceans, the, the, the waves, and, and, and all the uh, hazards that there could be in, in making this basin thrive. Uh, in fact, in, in the history book of, of Total, um, it is specifically mentioned that in 1962, um, 
one of our leaders was uh, comparing precisely what we were trying to achieve or trying to get into in the North Sea with, uh, with, with the challenge of going to the moon. We knew almost as little as uh, we knew about, uh, about the moon. But 10 years later, both challenges have been successful. A few years later on, so on the, on the NASA part, the uh, missions to the moon uh, stopped. But on our basin, we just kept growing our industry. And over the last five decades, we have transformed that initial, that initial success into a buoyant industry that over 50 years has seen a lot of our colleagues build their entire career um, in this uh, industry, um, but also many of our colleagues suffering injuries and some even losing their life. We have learned the hard way um, back in 1988 with Piper Alpha, that to make sure to guarantee the uh, safety of our workers offshore, demanded upon us that we would look at the safety in, in a radical new way. It was a very painful learning. And I can say that collectively, as an industry, we have made significant progress. We have learned how to um, mitigate many of those risks, again, through diligence, through processes, and through, through technology. But still, we cannot say that mission is accomplished. Safety is a, is a, is a never-ending challenge. We can never be satisfied with what we have in terms of uh, performance. Every single injury is a reason for us to strive and improve. And I guess that um, in as much today, we may think that the events or the incidents that occur are classified as being you know, non-material events. And many of them happen, some small injuries, recordables, uh, but not lost time injuries, or some small leaks. So in as much we classify them potentially as not being so serious, we need to take them, each of them as being a, a serious incident. Um, it is serious for any of us that is injured, be it uh, lightly on the job. And any small leak can become the one that uh, creates a catastrophe. Um, back in November, uh, I, I was with many of uh, our total colleagues. We were at Spade Adam, you know, that site that uh, simulates uh, explosions simulate jet fires. I know that many of you know about Spade Adam, that there is even um, ongoing discussions about you know, how uh, the site has evolved and what we can get out of it. But I can tell you that as, as, as an individual, as a leader, for me it was really an eye-opener. I have, uh, through my career, um, not been working exposed on, on the sites. I've always been more or less remote from the sites, but when you get that spade out and when you see, you feel the heat and, 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 and you see and you hear the noise of a, of a jet fire, what it does is that it, it brings to us, it brings to reality the fact that the hazard or the potential accident the, is not remote and, it's, and uncertain. It is nearby. And almost certain if we um, decrease our vigilance. So we, 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 we have always to keep our vigilance at the highest level to avoid that um, incident or that accident um, to occur. So we cannot afford to relax our vigilance. At Total, safety is a core value. It is not to say that we are the best or that we are excellent, certainly not. But it, what it means for us is that um, in as much we think of safety you know, as the first 
element when we uh, prepare a job or when we try to improve the culture of the company. We know that it is a topic on which we can, we can always improve and we should always improve and we, and we should always try and learn from our colleagues and learn from our peers and even from, uh, from other industries. And I'm sure that um, this, this attitude that we need to have uh, on the job and in our industry is shared by many of the colleagues here uh, today. And that's precisely, I believe, the reason why we are here today. So I would like to close by um, thanking and congratulating OG UK uh, and uh, State Change in Safety for the work that uh, you're doing for, for making our industry get together um, in a tripartite way with all the stakeholders to uh, um, reflect on safety, to act on safety, and to organize this event, which again I find um, excellent in terms of, uh, in terms of format, um, and that will uh, uh, last, I guess, for, uh, for, for many years. And uh, I, I just hope that uh, more of us, more of our colleagues, more of our peers would, uh, would attend this event uh, every year. And last but not least, obviously, I guess the, um, the heroes of today or that need to be congratulated and thanked very much are all the nominees, all the nominees for the awards uh, of the uh, excellence in, in safety uh, uh, in the offshore, in, in, be it by innovation or by, by sharing knowledge. Um, and whoever wins, um, my thanks and my congratulations go to all of you, the nominees that I believe you are all in the, uh, in the room. Thank you very much.